Hello, today we are coding at the beach and I'm going to show you how to create a new website and host it for free using Next.js, a Postgres database on the back end, Next Auth for authentication, and Tailwind CSS. This is all possible to set up in a few minutes. First, I'm gonna show you the easy way to do it, which is using templates on Vercel. And the second way I'm gonna show you um, lets you take any Git repository on the internet and then host that on Vercel. Uh, so the first way is faster, but it only works with their templates. And then the second way will work with any Git repository. So um, starting out, I'm gonna to go to vercel.com and then I'm going to add a new project. And here under templates, I can search for admin dashboard and that's gonna open up um, a page with a deploy button. And when I click that, um, I can create, I'm gonna create a new uh, GitHub repository uh, that's going to just copy the code from the template into this uh, repository. And I'll just call this my dashboard. First, I'm just gonna create the Postgres database and it's literally as easy as that. And click connect. And that's gonna set up the environment variables so the app knows where to find the database. Now you have to add a few environment variables so the dashboard can find the um, authentication provider. Um, now, just looking at this, it's not immediately clear what you have to do and this uh, goes to a 404 right now but if we just go back to the repository and then we look in the um, .env .example, and I'll post a link to this uh, in the description we see um, what we're supposed to put in for each of these values so um, I'm gonna skip this one the next auth URL because that one was actually causing my project to break um, but if I go on to the next one is the auth secret and I just have to copy this URL and paste that um, and then I get a unique ID that I can put in uh, here for the environment variable. And then for the GitHub ID and the GitHub secret, um, I need to actually go to GitHub because this project is allowing you to log in uh, via GitHub. That's the OAuth provider that they're using. You could use any with a small modification of the code. And I'm gonna go to developer settings and OAuth apps. I'm going to create a new app. I'll call it my dashboard. Um, for this one, you can put in uh, anything. So, and um, this one, you want it to be the URL of your deployed project so that it can redirect users back to the project after they successfully uh, sign in. So it would be like, my dashboard whatever dot vercel dot app and um, that just needs to be the same as the URL that the uh, project gets deployed to and you can change this later so I'm gonna click register application I'm gonna make that correct URL I'm gonna click register application and I'm gonna create a new secret okay now I can take this client ID I can put it back here. I can take um, the secret and I can put that here. And once I click deploy and wait a bit, everything should be all good to go. All right, so that just took like a minute. And now that that's actually deployed, I should be able to just um, continue to the dashboard and um, now I have the actual domain uh, and I can go to there. Uh, last thing I need to do is just put some data in the database um, so that this table actually shows up. And I can just do that by going here uh, to storage and opening up the database and I can run this code as a query um, in the database and let's um, insert one user into it just to show that the Postgres database is working. Cool. 
And then you'll remember that we um, had configured sign in with GitHub. So if I click sign in here, um, now I have uh, like a deployment uh, not found error. And I'm thinking I might be able to fix that by taking this uh, domain name, maybe putting that uh, into here. So what I just did was I copied the deployment URL um, of the Vercel project and I paste that here on the application settings in, um, in GitHub. And you don't necessarily know what that URL is until after you deploy it, unless you're using a custom domain name that you already set up. Now you can see like I can actually uh, sign into this application using GitHub OAuth. And really it just took us a couple of minutes to set up this whole website that's now deployed on the internet. Um, it's free, it has Postgres, it has OAuth, um, and it has Tailwind CSS and Shad CN. And you can just go back to the um, GitHub repository that was just created. And you can check this out on your computer and you can edit the code and next time you push, um, your live deployed website should be updated. That's how you can do this with one of the templates on Vercel. And I think in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can do this uh, exact same thing, but using any GitHub repository out there. So yeah, hope this was helpful.